Alrighty. Three, two, one, go. Alrighty, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Minis Cap playthrough. Me, the Johnny Monkey, and let's try and sneak out of here before... Oh! Um, <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm feeling alright, thank you. A little bit bruised, but apart from that... Uh, okay, before the King of Hyrule speaks, I would just like to point out that this is in no way my fault, okay? I mean, you should not have asked a small child like me to protect the Princess of the Kingdom, okay? And... At the very least, if you were going to do that, you should have given me weapons. All I had was a freaking shield. And you didn't give me that. I had to win it at a carnival. That. Wait, why are you bringing the Bakori into this? I mean. How is a fairy tale going to help us? And... Oh, wait. I forgot. Fairy tales are never just pure fiction. No, there's always an element of truth based in them. Even after all their deeply twisted metaphors for really creepy stuff. Seriously, Little Red Riding Hood was originally about rape. I'm not joking! The original writing of Red Riding Hood actually warns about how uh, innocent lasses should stay away from big bad walls or else horrible fates will before them. It's really freaking creepy. But yeah, the general gist of this scene is that the only way to cure Zelda's curse is to get the Bakori to repair the Bakori blade. However, sending soldiers to search for them is no good, since they only appear to children. Which means that they only like the innocence of children, or they're only comfortable with humans who are close to their size, or they're just a race of pedophiles. One of the two. So anyway, we've got a broken sword. Yay. Uh, much better! Haha, <laughs> who needs a shield when you can block, poke, or stab something with this sword? So yeah, the soldiers are off chasing Vasi. Hopefully they were better than the other guys. And we will now head into the Minish Woods in order to find the Bakori. Apparently there's a shrine where they once used to meet, so... Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find something. And luckily you won't be able to get lost because you have a map to show you the way. Yeah, like they said hey, in the um, dialogue, just press start and use L and R to access the map and... Thankfully, unlike some other games I could mention, this game actually tells you where to go through, yeah, the little glowing ticks. And so, our quest begins. So, we just talked to this little weird minister dude. Actually, they say it's due to your house, but you won't be able to pass it for reasons that they explained it. Her eyes are still filled with life. Yes, even when turned into stone, Zelda wants to run off. She's... <laughs> that says something about the princess. The only time she can keep still is when she's been turned to stone. <laughs> Ugh. I'm, I was serious in the last part. The royal guard must have their work cut out for them. But anyway, enough of that. Our quest begins once we leave the Hyrule Castle Gardens. And it's also the moment where I slowly start to run out of things to talk about since we're walking with. Oh no, wait! Kick ass to do 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 There's no oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not much of a fanfare about a green rupee is like only one. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing? Yeah, hello. Uh, but, uh, uh, why are you doing? And interested me with the what project? What earthquake? Oh, jeez, roadworks! And always the most inconvenient time. There's always some bloody roadworks and blocking your ways in and out of places. Ugh. God, here in Britain is even worse. Where for some reason they always decide to do major roadworks on a motorway in the holiday season. Seriously, people, why don't they do it in the winter when tourists aren't blocking every single freaking? Okay, that's another rant for another day. But yeah, there's not much to explain in terms of gameplay. It's just the sword. You press this, you would be your A, depending on which button you set it to, to slash things. Pretty simple, really. And you can also use it to cut grass down. Why do you want to cut grass down? Well, for some reason, there are items in there. Although, actually, this game is 
the closest to come up with an explanation for that. Apparently, the Pakori like leaving items in grass for people to find, which is why you find money, I guess. Although that doesn't explain how the hell you can find bombs and arrows in there. Seriously, do the Minis just think people will be happy if they give them artillery? Well, look. Look, leave the monsters to you guys. Oh yeah, I feel so safe when you're not doing anything. Yeah, I'm sure that innocent farm right next to you would really love for someone to actually, you know, run the monsters through rather than just standing there. Well, the door's locked, so I can't pay them a visit. Probably a wise thing to do in the circumstances. Um, I would mention the enemies, but there's really nothing to talk about. They're so easy to defeat. You just have to slash them and they'll go down. Yay, I got a heart, so the mild damage I've taken is now restored. Woohoo. But yeah. Okay, we're inside someone's house. Cool, let's steal items! I am stealing money! I am stealing money! I am stealing money! I'm stealing more money! <laughs> uh, yeah, one brief explanation about the um, pots. Uh, because A and B are mostly your item settings, in order to... Um, do actions like grab things, you have to um, use the R button. The R button basically becomes what the A button is in the um, 3D Legend of the Zelda games. It's your action button. You use it for pretty much everything, from rolling to, well, you know, reading and talking and... Occasionally you'll... E Sorry, I forgot where I was going with that. But, yeah... They say it's just easy to your house, but you don't actually go past your house. In fact, you can't, because you're not allowed to go to the Hyrule Castle, but... Yeah, anyway, we're now in the Minish Woods. And I would try to swim across, but... Uh, for some reason, the 2D game Link is a terrible swimmer. But anyway, we're just exploring or smashing our way through the woods. I tell you that. Oh, that's one very stealthy Octorok. Aha! Back attack. Yeah, forgive me, but I'm slowly running out the hook commentaries into it. It's just Link walking through a forest. Very pretty forest, mind you. What an interesting tune. Which is now suddenly developed fog. And it's suddenly become more creepy. And two shoes! Die! Yeah, two twos are pretty easy. They pop up suddenly, but if you keep your eyes on them and then just slash them, they'll be easily taken down. Hmm. Still wonder where the hell I can we find it. Okay. Maybe if I explore up here. Still don't find anything. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what that whiny duck thing is doing here, but uh, what the hell, I suppose I'm a hero and it's not like I've got anything else to do. I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm finding anything useful around here. But it's time to step in the action and be brave. Here I come to save the day. Oh, the very appreciative fans. This is what makes a hero's job worthwhile, you know, when people just scream at you, tell you you're absolutely useless. Okay, it, it was my pleasure, weird duck thing. Hmm. Uh, what do you know about them? In fact, how did you get all this information? I don't really tell you. I mean, I couldn't have told you in that brief second between the dialogue cuts. Unless I'm capable of delivering incredibly fast exposition. 
Well, you're capable of reading my mind. And anyway, Elzo, as this thing suggests, is made yourself your companion and... Well, I'm sorry, there are... I don't have any other walking speeds. Maybe you could, I don't know, move faster or hop faster or whatever you... Um, I'm going as slowly as I can. This is going... Well, I'm sorry that... Ah! Get off my head! Get off my head! Don't cure a fanfare music! There's a freakish duck cap thing on my head! Get it off! Get it off! Oh god, I don't want a complaining duck thing sitting on my freaking head! Get it off! Ugh. I don't think I want to learn anything from you, you creepy, creepy duck thing! Oh, jeez. Well... I guess this isn't coming off anytime soon, so yeah, I'm now traveling the world with this thing on my head. Oh really? Yeah, is it a way to get you off? What the hell are you talking about? Oh. Okay, how the hell did we humans come up with the name Bakori if they're actually called Minish? Did none of the Minish ever just bother to correct them or something? I mean, did, seriously, did it never occur to the Minish to just say, um, actually would not call the Bakori? Or is it just like some kind of re really, really bad slang that the humans developed over time? Like some kind of unfortunate racial slur that we just refuse to correct? Yeah, we show a lot, of, a great deal of respect to Bakori, don't we? Or is it the Minish now? But anyway, this shrine allows us to... Wait, shrink? But, oh, but... Join me next time when we head to the Minish Village. See you!